part of what makes illustration so interesting is that it's not just a picture. It really has to have an element of story to it. When I was working on the concept for the Wicked Kingdom project, I wanted to create something that was different from the other playing cards out there. Uh, and as an illustrator, what I was really interested in doing was building a narrative through the artwork. I wanted to create these two opposing identities for each card, and I wanted the opposition between those two halves to tell a story about who is this character and what is their backstory. All of the cards have that dual identity aspect to them. So there's a queen who is an herbalist and also a poisoner. There's a king who is a miner and an alchemist. There's a lady killer. To say that each character has a good half and an evil half is a little bit of an oversimplification, but it does come close. As a commercial illustrator, it's very rare to find an opportunity to put forth something that really represents who you are as an artist. The nature of doing this work for other people is that you do find yourself compromising your vision and often giving up elements of yourself that would otherwise naturally find their way into your art. So it's almost more important what this project isn't. It isn't commercial work, it isn't me translating someone else's ideas into images. It's me working on my own vision, building a concept from the ground up, and creating something that's personal and meaningful, and hopefully something that other people will be able to connect to as well. This is the most involved project that I've ever worked on by a long shot, and after all of this work, I am just so excited to be making this deck a reality. I'm Wiley Beckert, and this is the Wicked Kingdom deck.